Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, look, apologies for this weird angle. I am lying down. Um, not because I'm lazy, but because my anal area is in absolute agony. Uh, I took a nasty fall off a ladder today. I was trying to clear out my grandparents' gutterings because they said they'd been overflowing when it rained. I thought, well, look, I've got to do it, otherwise they're going to do it and hurt themselves. Um, found the ladder. It was a rickety old thing, and I was a little bit dubious in the first place, but I thought, you know what, it's, it's a bungalow. It's a few feet. I'll just jump off if anything happens. Um, I had to put it up at a weird angle to get a certain part of it, and I was leaning over. I just could feel it falling backwards. So I tried to step off, tried to get a foot down, and my foot got caught. I was left with no time to react. Instinctively, I brought my head forward. But as a result of it, my arse has taken an absolute pound in. It has been smashed into the patio, a concrete patio. It could not have happened at a worse time. Number one, because I was meant to be playing football with my old mates today and making a video about it. And number two, at my grandparents. My grandma loves to cook really rich desserts, like constantly with every meal. I've had three different kinds of tarts in the last 24 hours, a little flangy pange all over them. And a result of that means I'm having to poop a lot more often than normal. I've been twice since my accident and sitting on a toilet seat with your ass throbbing like bloody Roman Lukaku's bummed you or something is nobody's idea of fun, I tell you. Agony. Um, more positively, more interestingly, maybe for you guys, last night I made my preliminary contact with the presence in the house. I sat in a darkened room, lit some candles and just let my senses open, just let my senses open wide, you know, inviting something to make contact with me. Towards the end of the two hours, it did. Now, what made contact with me is something that's quite scary. It is an incredibly aggressive presence. It is an incredibly sexualised presence, which ghosts quite often are. You know, not everyone who dies is nice. You know, rapists and stuff dies. You do get sexualised demons and presences. And number three, it was a very, very masculine presence. So this evening, I am going to proceed and try and confront this, uh, but I'm going to need to be incredibly careful and protect myself because in my state, the last thing I need is some bloody ghost trying to have its wicked way with me. Uh, so I will proceed. Um, I'm going to set up a proper camera for it and I will yeah, let you know what happened. You'll have to wait till I get home for that video though. My grandparents haven't got proper internet here. I'm having to just record this on my phone so I can just stick it on using my 4G. Um, but yeah, I need to edit together when I use my proper camera. Um, I did ask them, have you got wireless yet? When I got here, my grandma's like, we've had a wireless years. I was like, oh, brilliant. What's the password? Whereabouts is it? And she toddled off to get something. Came back holding a really old-fashioned radio. Grandma, what's this? I'm asking if you've got wireless internet, you know, Wi-Fi. And she had a good laugh and chuckle about it and said, apparently, it turns out, old people call radios the wireless. Uh, I don't really understand it, but there's an awful lot I don't understand about old, well, about everyone, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. I'm in agony and hopefully you guys are having a kind of much better day than me.